Hello viewers, welcome back to Real Mist. And we are ready to go to the Stone Ship Age. I hope you enjoyed that book. <laughs> I'm kind of going to do those as uh, bonus videos. So you don't have to watch it if you don't want to, but... Uh, I recorded that like three or four different times, and then I spent almost as much time recording it, um, editing it, so that it, it could come out clearly <laughs> and easy to understand. So we are uh, in the Stone Ship Age. This is where the little boys were playing, and the author of the book kind of met with them and taught them some things. He tried to write a ship into the age using something called the art. And it got lodged into the rocks, you can see down there. And they built a lighthouse because they saw people far off. Let's see if we can see people. Let's see, we have measurements. There's the bell tower, the bell tower. There's the bell-shaped tip of the lighthouse slash tower. That's it. 135. I don't know if that has any significance. There's an antenna for something. That's around 180. Just kind of making mental notes of this information in case we need it. Okay, it's gonna count up 360, go back down to zero. And I'm not really seeing anything else. There's definitely a lot of rocks. So 135 is the lighthouse, and 185. Maybe I should perhaps write those down, actually. 135, 185. You never know when the information is going to be useful. Yeah, so we were looking at, I guess that is the mast of one of the boats. Let's run down here. We should never do this, by the way, because it's raining. It, it's so slippery, you could fall down. If this was any other kind of game, that would be a chest that you could open and get an item for. <laughs> we have this, which is flooded, unfortunately. Okay, and we have this, which is also flooded, and that, which is also flooded. So we got a few places we could go if the water wasn't in our way. And the only other places we can explore are this lighthouse and that umbrella thing. Let's see what we got going on here. Let's see. Oh, another area flooded. And we've got a key here. And we've got a lock there. And I imagine... This, this is not gonna reach that. Yeah, no. <laughs> We're not getting into the lighthouse. All right, well that only leaves one other place left to check out. We can run on the surface because we're amazing. And we have three buttons. Okay, that lit up and it's making a pumping noise. Now, pumping ways could be very good when it comes to water. Oh boy. Looks like we have cleared this, but you cannot see a thing. Oh, let's go activate our flashlight. I don't know if that was in the original Real Mist or if that's something they added. But it definitely helps. Oh my gosh, wow. Oh, this looks so weird and so much better than the original Mist. I mean, it looked good, but it was so, this part especially for me was so confusing as to what in the world was going on. But now I can clearly see that I'm in some fancy underwater area. There's all these little, wow. That's a huge turtle. That's cool. There's these things. If I remember, 
No, we're not going to go based on memory. I can artificially insert my memories, but we're not going to go based on memory. They look like some kind of device. Maybe they are lights. Where? I don't see anything. Are these drawers? They're not drawers. It's just inlaid wood. Does this open? It doesn't. Can these be moved? No. Okay, that's weird. I can click on the table as if it's a button. So there's something. We're not ready to go here yet. Let's try the second button. What does that... Perfect. Oh, this is very eerie. This is like old industrial. Water dripping everywhere. Very cool. Love the detail. What is that? Can I go in there? Okay, now we are uh, <laughs> Gordon Freeman climbing into vents. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, I can't do anything with that yet. There's another one of those things. Oh, that noise is kind of annoying. Let's go to the end of this tunnel. Can we go through? And where is this? This looks like that other hallway that was uh, drained. So this is somebody's room. Uh, whoever had the blue pages. Okay, I got that blue page. I put it away. Let's see what we can learn about this guy. He's got this weird rib cage thing as a lamp. That's kind of creepy. Poison? Can I put the can I put the page away in my inventory? <laughs> I don't know how. Um, that's that's fine. That's kind of normal, right? These masks. I mean, there's nothing too strange. It's just like tribal. That could be fine. I guess maybe maybe he's not creepy. Maybe these are just artifacts of someone he was studying. I don't know. What do we got here? It's a rose. Okay, he can't be that bad. What does this do? Okay, is that a metaphor for something? <laughs> I don't know. All right. And we can explore the drawers. He's got a map. Half of a letter. Marker switch something. The vault is located. The island of achieved very easy instructions are... Each of the marker, turn every one on position. That is the final step. Okay, we need... No, I didn't want to zoom out. We'll need the second half of that. There's another map. Another map. So this brother, we'll call him for now the blue brother until I can start remembering their names. <laughs> he is interested definitely in land. Interesting. All right, let's see... Let's see if we can't go back down the other hallway and see where that led. Wow. This room is much more regal and a lot less creepier. I guess I would say a lot less creepy, right? Got this fantastic bed. interesting fancy globes beautiful ornate dresser 
artwork. What do we got in here? Okay, that's um that's a little creepy. I can't quite read what that might say. Uh it doesn't look like good things. Maybe he's got an illness. Maybe that's medicine. I mean, I guess we shouldn't judge. That is a very interesting device. What else we got? Let's check his drawers. It's kind of rude, I guess, just to start going through somebody's dresser. But some money. That doesn't open. Some jewels. Some fancy eatery wear fine fabrics. Maybe he's a craftsman. Nothing. And a red page. So now we have a red page and a blue page. <laughs> and I suppose we're supposed to start handing these to these people. That doesn't seem like a good idea. Um, gosh, I don't know what to do now. Let's go visit that pump. There was three things that were filled with water and three buttons, but that second button actually pumped out both those hallways. So what does the third pump do? Maybe the third pump is for the lighthouse. Yeah, because the water's already filled back up into there. Interesting. Oh, gosh, I don't know. Can I just go straight down? No, okay. <laughs> you got a lot more freedom in this game than you did uh, in the original version. I was wondering if I could just walk right off. Okay, there's a chest. It's locked. So we obviously can't do anything. We could let the water out. I mean, it's not chained. There's nothing holding it down. If we leave this open, the water will probably go back in. But what if we close the valve and then let the water fill back up? It looks like the chest. I don't know why I'm having a trouble, such a hard time walking up these stairs. It looks like the chest is gonna bump into the stairs if it started floating. I honestly don't even know physically what kind of wood it needs to be made out of or if it's got enough air in it to, to float. Guess we'll just turn that off. We don't need to necessarily clear out another area. And let's see. Aha! In this key, we can reach the lock. What do we have? Aha! And then we have an actual separate key, which we can then just put in there. And, you know, just drop the lock, because who needs it? And sometimes the controls on this thing are a little awkward. I apologize. What do we got here? Got a manual a generator. I suppose for the lighthouse. I guess we'll just spin this until we get this full. And then there was nothing else in the brothers' rooms. There was something in that main chamber. So now that we have this pumped up, maybe that's powering that. Actually, no, there was something in the brother's room, the secret passageway between the two things. So I don't know where we should go first, but I kind of want to go to that secret room. Oh, these lights are on now. Okay, that's good, that's a good sign. So that generator is connected to the whole island. Interesting that that door is red. I wonder if the other door was blue. I bet it was. And is this something we can click on now? No. Apparently not! Oh, I did the wrong thing. I want to check on the battery. Dead. Wonderful. 
I want to look at the telescope one more time. Now that I have the lighthouse on. And just see if it shows me anything different. It kind of does. It's making the point very clear that that is a thing. So let's go back into our secret chamber. Understanding how degrees work. And that the top is zero. And we probably don't want to touch anything except for the correct thing. This would be zero. As well as 360, right? So 180 would be down. And we want 185. Maybe I went the wrong direction. Let's try that again. Okay, here's our problem. I wrote down two numbers, uh, 135 and 185, and I crossed the wires in my brain. We should have tried for 135. Okay, so I didn't math it wrong. I just did it wrong. <laughs> so this is zero and 360. This would be 180. This is 90. And we want 135. But there is no 135, right? This is... So, let's just do 130. Ah! Whew. Whew, 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 That seems to have powered everything. Excellent. And now... Okay, I don't need the flashlight. Oh gosh, thunder and lightning. Uh, now I just want to check here. So we'll have to drain that one. And it looks like the lighthouse is still powered. It's got the little shining star on it. That's good, the lights are still on, the power's still going. And yes, these devices are on. Now it's a little more lit up in here. And I could click on this table. Oh, weird. Oh, it's the book to get back. Perfect. So we went to the stone ship age. We learned a little bit about the two brothers. Whoa. <laughs> And then, uh, things happened. Um, and then we found our way back. I'm gonna close that. And it's just because I, I feel safer <laughs> now, th now that it's dark out. Uh, let's, let's see what these guys have to say. Yeah, I'm back. Hey man, you're welcome. You must continue to help. Hey, I, I saw some stuff in your room that was My name is Cirrus. Cirrus. Red Cirrus. I beg you to find to remain You must Okay. I can barely hear you, dude. I need more red pages, I, you said that. Don't waste time. Is something gonna happen? Don't. Are, are you running out of time? My brother. Brother is guilty. <laughs> what? Bring the red page to me. Imprisoned. And 
interesting. Now we're going to have to think hard about continuing this process of bringing pages to them uh, if they're talking about how they're imprisoned. Monsieur? No, it's me. No, that's... That's what he was saying before. That's uh, the first message. How do I go to my inventory? Ah, I see what has happened. Uh, pages are apparently super duper, ooper looper heavy, and I can only carry one at a time. So if I want to now also return the blue page in order to see what the other brother has to say for himself, I'm going to have to go back <laughs> and retrieve it. Here you go. And this was the creepier brother. Yikes. Let's see what this guy has to say for himself. He returned. He wouldn't return. Hmm? Rescue me. <laughs> Rescue you, huh? I'm Aganar. Aganar. My brother, I beg you. To be complete. I'll consider it. Always blue pages. You guys are gonna have to do some more convincing. Listen to him. Yeah, he said the same thing about you. This guy is a little creepy. <laughs> another, another innocent guy. Yikes. I don't know, viewers, what do you think? I don't really trust either of them so far. <laughs> they haven't done a whole lot to convince me. Uh, I guess we will see. We'll bring a few more pages. It seems to clear up the, the link. I think as long as we don't bring them all the pages. Of course, we're not sure how many pages are missing. Uh, they're not going to be able to be freed yet, but hopefully that can give us some more information so we can figure out what best we should do. And let's not forget, we still found half a paper in a drawer. If we can still find the other half to that, it seemed like there was something informationally on that thing that we might we might use. Look at the birds! All right. I will see you next episode. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day.